Hi, I'm Robin, the Sudoku guy, and today I'm dressed in my tuxedo because it's a special event. Why? Because I'm going to introduce you to 3x3. Three three. Now 3x3 three three is a technique that you'll really need to look for when you start to get into the really difficult puzzles. Let me briefly show you what it is. 3x3 three three simply is three numbers that fit into three cells only. Now up on the top here I've got a row, let's do the row first, and I have got three cells where we have a one, a three, and a four. There's only three numbers, therefore they only can go in those three cells. That's what I mean by three by three. Now I've underlined them because I have in the process of doing the puzzle, particularly if you go outside the puzzle, I have calculated that in this cell only, it can only be a 1 and a 3. Similarly, here it's only a 1 and a 4, and here it's only a 3 and a 4. Now, let's say you've got this empty cell. Knowing that these, these cells are accounted for numbers, it's very easy to find out what goes there by simply counting 1 to 9. And watch how I do it. We start 1, 2, 3, 4, we've done 3 and 4 already, 5. There is no 5 there. So we can put a 5 there and confident that that is the only place you can put a 5. Just because we knew that there were these three cells could only have three numbers. Now the same thing applies to a column. In this particular column, We've got a 1, 3, and a 1, 4, and a 3, 4, all in this section here. That tells us if these are three numbers that can go in three cells, we go through the same process for a column, where we say 1, 2, 3, 4, there is no 5, so we can put the 5 in there. Now let's go over to a block. The same principle applies. I've ascertained that there was only three numbers that can fit in these three cells, three by three. And we can work out that this has to become a five, just like we did in the row and the column. So I'm going to now come back in a, a second or so and show you this working in a real puzzle. Well, here's a puzzle where we can show you three by three working. We're going to very quickly look to see if there's any pattern, and I don't see anything particularly except for this one over here, but it only covers two numbers. Uh, but we'll leave that for the time being. I'll go through the, the normal step-by-step -step system. Let's look at these three blocks. Ones. There's only one one, so leave it. Two. There's only one two. Threes. There's only one three. Fours. There's only one four. Fives. There's a five, top, bottom, middle, they're all done, great. Sixes, there's only one six. Seven, there are three sevens, top, middle, and bottom. They're fine, leave it. Eights, only one eight. Nine, only one nine. Not much progress so far, but that's okay. We're getting into the more difficult puzzles. Now we'll do these three uh, horizontal blocks. One, there's only one one. Two, there's only one two. Three. There are two threes, a bottom and a middle, so these three can be a three. Two, three small little threes, like so. Uh, fours, there's only one four. Five, there is only one five. Sixes, there's only one six. Seven, there's only one seven. Eight, there's only one eight. And nine, there's only one nine. Still not making much progress, are we? Let's go down to these three blocks. One, there's only one one. Two, yes, we have a bottom two, a middle two. We can put two little twos here. Threes, there's only one three. No fours. Fives, they're all there, top, middle, and a bottom. Sixes, only one six. Seven, we've got all the sevens, middle, top, bottom. Eight, we have two eights, a top, a bottom, so the two eights have to go here. One is here and one is here. Okay, now let's do vertical 
blocks with ramifications. Ones. There's only one one, but I see something. This one cannot be in here. It has to be over here because we've got a line here. Remember that rule? So if there's a line there, the one can be either here or here. We can put it in two cells. If it's going to be here, we have a left, we have a right. Therefore, there has to be in the center up here. And we can have a one, one. And we look across, oh, there's a one there. So we, that cancels that one out. And therefore, this becomes the one. Now, let's look at any ramifications of that. First of all, we have a one here in the middle and a one at the bottom. So it has to be up in here somewhere. So it could be one there and a one there. But if when I look down, there's a one here. So that cancels this one out. So the one has to be there. Any ramifications of that one? Well, here's a center. Here's the left. Down here, it has to be on the right. And there it is there. That'll have to be the one. Boy, that was interesting. We've got quite a few ones there. What about um, anywhere else? Let me see. Well, yes, look, here is a top. There's a bottom. We need a middle over here. So that one will go there. Any ramifications of that one? Well, this is a center. This is a left. And this block here that doesn't have a one, it'll have to be on the right. And because of this one here, we will have a one here and a one here. Boy, there was a lot of ramifications on the one, wasn't there? Let's now go to twos. We twos are already here. Threes. We have a three here, a right, a center, and there'd be two possible threes here. Any ramifications? Not net, no. Fours. There's no fours here. Fives. Let's look at the fives. We have a five in the center here, a five here, but a five has to be, five can't be there, so a five has to be over here. There's a five over here, so therefore we have a little five here and a little five there. Great. Sixes. Six. Well, this is really interesting. A six can't be in here, so it, because of this line, it has to be over here. Where can it be over here? Well, if we look across there, it can't be on this one, so it'll be there and there. If it's going to be on the right here and on the left here, it has to be in the center here. Therefore, it could be here or here, but if I look across here, there's a six already, so that cannot be a six there. The six has to go there. Now, let's look at the ramifications of that. This is the top. This is the middle. Therefore, the six in this block has to be here. What are the ramifications of that? Anything? Let's look up. No, I don't see anything right now. Well, that was good. We got somewhere that time. Now, let's go on. Uh, sixes to sevens. Sevens. Well, this is an interesting one, too. Here's a seven. There's a seven. The seven in this block has to be over here because you can't have a seven there, there's already in, in that column. So therefore, if you have realized that that seven is there, we can have a seven here, and we can have a seven there. Well, that looks interesting, because I've just noticed something. Here is a three by three. How do I know it's a three by three? And I'm going to underline them. Only five, six, and seven can go there. Why do I know that? Well, here is a five, six, and a seven in this block. Here is a five, six, seven in that block. So the only place it can go, it has to go in this block. We've got five, six, and seven down here. It has to be five, six, and seven in there. And so we have a three by three. Now, what does that do? Well, you'll see a little later, very quickly, we can say, okay, in this column, there's only one, two, three, four empty cells. So we could go outside the puzzle. But let me push on. Uh, and see if there's other numbers that we can get before that. Now, let's look at eights. There's only one eight. Nines. There's a nine here, or oh, here's something interesting. There's a nine here. It can't be there, and it can't be over there, so it has to be in here. So this could be an eight nine, and that could be a nine as well. If that is a nine, and that's the left, and this is a nine, that's the center. This has to be a nine. Now, what's the ramifications of that one? Yes, there is a ramification. The ram here is at top, middle, this becomes a nine. Any ramifications of that? Mm, don't think so. Good. 
Now we'll do this, this set of uh, blocks. Ones are done. We did that before. Two. Hmm. I don't see any twos except for one. Uh, threes. No, there's only those three there. Four. There's only one four. Five. Guess what? We've got all of the five, so that's fine. We can relax. Sixes. Hmm. Six. Don't see any. We could have them all over the place here. Too much information. Too many cells to put it in. Leave it. We just want to aim for putting the little numbers in two cells wherever possible. Now the time's going to come where you can't avoid that. You have to put more than two, two in later on in the course. Okay, uh, sevens. There's no sevens in these three columns except for this one and this one. So therefore we know that this is the left, this is the right. We have to have a seven there or there. Gee, I'm looking at it from an angle. I've got to watch carefully there. So we have a, two sevens are possible in there. Eights. There's only one eight, and it could go all over the place in here and in here. We'll leave that. Mm -hmm. Nines. We only have one nine in here. Oh, it could go all over the place in here. Let's leave the nines for the time being. Let's go now to this, these three blocks. We have ones. Well, we know we have a possibility of a one there and a there and a there and a there. Now that's a, a, that's a pattern that I'm going to teach you in the next lesson. We'll go and push right on now. Uh, twos. We have two twos. That's all. Threes. Well, we have two threes here. We could have a three here and we could have a three there. We can't have a three in the middle. Well, we can't there in any case. So there's a th two, three and a three in there for the threes. Fours. There's only one four. But I can tell you right now, looking at this, if I go up here, there's a four across there. A four can only go in two cells and it's going to be these two. Um, fives. Let me see. Well, that's interesting. We can have a five cannot go in here, but so it has, because of this line, it has to go over in this section for this block. Left, center, right. So this becomes a five, and because of this five, this becomes a five. And I'm going to underline them. Now, how do I know that they are a matching pair? Let me show you a little clue, and you're going to learn more about this later in the course as well. Here's a five one. Okay, there's a five one. There's the left, there's the center, the five one has to be in there, and here we have a five one, so we know we can't have a five and a one there. So we know that's a matching pair. Sixes. We have a six here, we have a six here, so that we could have a left, center, has to be up in here, but look, there's a six here, so this becomes a six. Now we have a top, uh, a middle, so that's in the section in here, this has to be in the bottom, so we have a six there and a six there. Wow, we're making progress. Does that take us any further? No, I don't think so. By the way, I've just noticed something just in passing. There's only two cells left in this block, and the, the two numbers are four and a one, two. So it's a two, four matching pair. Just in passing. What do we get up to? We've got up to five, we got up to six. What about sevens? Well, the sevens are already there. We have a right, a center, and a left. Eights. Oh, that's interesting. We have one eight, and we have two eights. Well, this is good. Here's a right, there's a center. In this block that doesn't have an eight, we have to have an eight here or here. I don't see any eights along here. Okay. Nine. What about the nines? Well, that's interesting. Um, we could have nines in several spots there. We could have a nine. We can't have a nine over here. And because we have a one five one five matching pair, that cancels out all other little numbers that can go there. We can't have a nine there because of a nine over here. So therefore, the nines have to be over on the left. And we'd have another matching pair because we have an eight, nine through here. That's interesting. We can work out now in this block 
What's supposed to be there? Let's do a count. One, two. It has to be a two, so we can put it in. What's the ramification of that? Oh, wow. If we look up here, that cancels that two out, so this becomes a four, and that becomes a two. There's all kinds of ramifications there. Look, here's a good example. This two cancels out this two here. Just a sec, I'll rub that one out. Cancels out that two, because we can't have two twos in that column. So we've got a center, a right, and a two. So this means that this can't be a two at the bottom here. Bottom, middle, top. So this becomes our two. Well, that was great just by recognizing how to get that one. Now let's push on. I was doing nines into here. Now it's time to do the cross checking, as it were, where we take um, a row and a column and we cross them or have them intersect in a block where there's a number we're looking for. Let's take the ones. Well, I think we've got pretty well, except for here, we've got pretty well all the ones. Uh, so we'll leave that. Twos. Well, that's interesting. I've just noticed something here. It's easy to miss a ramification, by the way. This two is a middle. This two is a bottom. This becomes a two. And that should enable us to get this number. And it turns out to be one, two, three. It's only one left, so let's put it in. When you see a chance, put it in, because you'll find that sometimes just one extra number will get you to the end of the puzzle. So that three is no longer valid. So we're left with just two cells left there. I'll come back to that. Um, twos, any other twos? Let's have a look. Two, two here. If I go up here... And across, we've got that two, 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 two. Well, here we got something. Look at this. The twos here have to be here and here. See how I did that? Two across cancels out there. Two across cancels that out there. Two up here cancels out any two here. So the only places for a two is there and there. But now let's look up here. We've got a two there. So that means that this is cancelled and this becomes our two, was the ramification. We've now got all the twos there just because of that little cross-checking. Cross-checking has two values. One, you can get extra little numbers. Two, you can check yourself to see if you've been on the right track and haven't missed any ramifications and things like that. Now, I've just noticed that we have... Uh, we went two, we'd go to three now. Let's go to three. We want to keep, well, look, this is interesting. Look, bottom, top, this one has to be a three. And so that cancels out this three here. And I've just noticed something too, that um, what's left in here is a six, seven, six, seven, because it's a matching pair. Remember when there's only two cells left, it becomes a matching pair. Now, if I take that six, seven and look down, there's a six. So that cancels this six out, and this becomes a seven. Well, that's going to be very powerful, and I want to show you why. I mean, that, that, means, that means that that seven's no, needed, no longer needed. We now have a situation where we've come to our three by three by three. And I want you to show how neat this is. Because just by getting one of these numbers, you can get all the rest. Watch. Here we go. We have a bottom, we have a middle, we have to have a top. We can't have a seven there because of that seven. So this one becomes a seven. If that becomes a seven, that crosses out this number seven, and this becomes a six. If this becomes a six, we cross out the six, and it becomes a five. And boom, voila, wum, 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 boom, bang, 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 bang. We got a bunch of numbers just because we understood that that was, in fact, a three by three. Now, in this particular column, we've only got three numbers, eight, nine, and some other number. I wonder what that number is. Let's check it out. It's a four. It's a four. So if I go down here and put them outside the puzzle, we have a four, eight, nine. And I can put those numbers in if we like, but this is interesting. Here we have a four and a nine in this, and there's only one number left. So that is an automatic eight. 
We could have also worked it out this way. If that is an 8, watch this. Well, that eliminates that 8, so this becomes a 9. And this becomes your 8. And now we only have one number left in this block, and that is what? Let me see. A 4. So that becomes a 4. We finished the block just because we understood that when you can go outside the puzzle, when you've got these three already spoken for, it makes it easier. Fine. Now we were doing uh, cross-checking and we only got as far as uh, 7, I think. Now let's go to 8. Here's an 8. There's an 8. We have to have there's an 8 here. So that cancels in a 6 there. This is interesting. That 8 means there's an 8 here and an 8 there. This 8 cancels out that 8. So, and they are a matching pair, by the way, have you noticed? because there's only two left in that block. That cancels out this, so it becomes a 6. And this becomes an 8. And so we've completed that block. Now because that is an 8, we have a right, we have a left, this becomes an 8. Wow, we're really making progress now. Now in this row here, I've just noticed, you're always looking for one or two cells left, because they're so easy to solve. In this row here, what are we missing? We're missing a one, two, three, we're missing a four. Now we could have done it by looking at the block or we could have done it by going across. If that is a four, therefore, that was supposed to be a pun, therefore, uh, these two cells have to have a four, left, right, and center. So we put a little four in here and underline it because they are matching pairs because there's only the two cells left in this block. And that's going to really be valuable, I'm sure, later on. Now let's push on. Let's, what else can we see? We got to eight. What about nine? Let's see if there's some nines that we can get. No, there's not very much help there. Nine, nine, nine. We've got, we don't have a nine in here. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're seeing something that I don't see, but I just saw something. Here's a nine here. Therefore, only a nine can go there or there. That's important to know because if there's a 9 there on the right and a 9 here on the left, because we couldn't put a 9 there because of that 9, therefore a 9 has to fit in here. And so this could be a 9 and a 9. Now let's look across here. Look, there is a 9. So that means we cancel this one out and this one here becomes a 9. We're using all the techniques that we've learned so far from now on. Now let's see what we've got there. We've got nines. We've got, oh, we've got some more things that we could look after. Here is a column, I see. Can you see a column here that's only got one left? One, two, three, four. I think it's a four that's missing. So we put the four in. And that, you can check yourself. Because look here, center, left, and a right. And the three blocks. And that works per perfectly. And so we've finished that row. We could have done it that way too. Now let's look at this column. There's only one left in it. And what number is that? Well, I think it's a four again. It has to be four, four, four. Bottom, middle, top. So this becomes a four. Now we can work out what this is very easily. And let's see, one, two, three. There's a three missing. Now we've completed that block. I've noticed something up here. Have you noticed that this 8 is here? That means it's cancelling out that 8 there, so this becomes a 9. If that becomes a 9, then there's a top, a middle. This one becomes a 9 because there's already a 9 there. So this becomes our 9. And uh, that 3 gets cancelled because of this 3. So we're left with a something empty there. And now let's look at the threes. Well, I've just suddenly noticed something here. This three is center. This is left. And we need a three over here. We can't have one here because of this three. So this becomes a three. Now, let's see what this, well, that nine means that this is no longer a nine. So that becomes an eight. That's great. Now, wonder what, uh, we left here. We look a one and a four. One and a four. This is interesting. 
a one and a four. That can't be a one and a four. That could be one and a four. One, four, one, four, five. There's a five. There's one, four here. So that can't be it. We, we've got something else in there. There's three numbers. One, two, three. One, four, five. One, four, five. It, mm hmm Okay. Let's see now. Somehow or other, we've got to get a one, a four in here somewhere. Let me see. Well, we can't have a four there, can we? Because there's a four already up there. So this has to become the four. Now we're off. Watch what this does. That four gets cancelled. This becomes a one. That one cancels this one here. That becomes a four. Oh, now let's see. Bottom, top, middle. That's pretty good. Now what about in here? What's in here? With, let's count up. One, two, three, four, five. It's a six that's missing here. Now let's check. Left, right, center. Oh, that's looking really good. Now because I did that one, what does that do to this over here? It makes that a five. And because I did that five, that makes this a one. And the one, top, middle, bottom, that's all correct. We just start checking ourselves. Wow, we're almost there. What is left on this line here? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a nine. Here, let's see if that works. Yes, here's a nine. There's a nine. Can't be there because of this nine. So this becomes a nine. And we have one left. And guess what it is? There's the only one left in this column. is a three. And the only one left in that block is a three. So that becomes a three. And wacko! We've completed the puzzle and we deserve a happy smile. Now, folks, some people have asked a couple of questions. Let me answer them for you. First of all, some people say, oh, I see things before you do, Robin. That's great. You're understanding. That's super. But there are other people will say, Robin, you go too fast. If you're one of those people, my suggestion is stop the video, go back and play it again. So that's it for today's lesson. Can't wait till we get to tomorrow because, or to the next lesson rather, because it is another new thing to look for. Bye for now.